Hi lovelies. I'm out taking the dogs for a walk. There's Lily being a very good girl. And Hank and Ruby are down there. And it is extremely windy today and I'm sat underneath the pillars. And as you can see, we have some new big leaves coming. The coral is opening, sign of spring. Wonderful. And if you can see the other pungas that are around. They've all got babies coming on them, baby leaves. There's one over there in particular, that one. It's got, doesn't it look fantastic? It's got amazing leaves coming on it. So spring here in New Zealand is in the air. And it is a perfectly blue sky, but we have very high winds. I'm hoping that you will be able to hear what I'm saying because I know that with the phones the winds can actually uh, make a big difference as you can see all the trees going on. Oh, there's the goats. They've come down in the other paddock to be with us. We've just taken Hank and everyone for a walk to try and wear him out a bit. We've done a bit of training and we've had some beautiful signs in nature through the layouts of some of the sticks and branches that have led down. And it's just absolutely beautiful being able to be out here. I'm sitting underneath a bunch of So let's talk about new growth. We're all going through new growth at the moment. No matter where you are or what you're doing in life, we are saying goodbye to the old so that the new can come in. And often that is an in internal shift. That's what I call them, internal shifts. And often they feel uncomfortable. It can be physical symptoms that we get, but often it can be something that's going on around us in our physical life, like uh, circumstances happen and a change of home or even a loss of some sort. It's all part of the divine plan. It's helping us, no matter what we have to um, do, it's helping us to take notice of our emotions, our lives, where we're at. Um, I bet that many of you have been at the moment thinking about everything that you've done in life really um, looking back at everything you've done your hopes dreams and wishes for the future there's a lot of people actually in this way of being at the moment and it is because there is new coming we can all feel it our souls can feel it but we have to release the old first allow the new to come in and this might be like I said an internal thing it might be a personal thing it might be that you're releasing some old emotions so that your psychic gifts and your natural way of being can open up more your connection to your soul to your light can grow and be nurtured it might be that or it might be that something in your physical life needs to be changed in some way whether it's job home car whatever it is and you know we're also going through a time where we are it's not growing apart from other people but we're just growing differently we're growing in a different vibration we're growing in a different frequency so people that you once were 
very very close to you may not feel so close to anymore and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that don't feel guilty for feeling that way we're all on this journey we're all on our own journey but actually on a, a whole we're all on a journey and we're all going to the same destination at our own pace so it doesn't matter if that you find that you're perhaps not in getting on with someone as much as what you used to be there, again it's like releasing the old so the new can come in and these people that have been in your life are part of your soul family and will always will be and you will no doubt cross paths again at some point whether it is in the physical in this realm or whether it is in another realm but you're part of the soul family you've come together in this lifetime to learn what you need to learn and then there reaches a point where you perhaps don't you've learned that lesson or you've learned that thing from each other whatever it is whether it's emotional guidance or or whether it's a lesson in some way or whether it's about love and about loving yourself and about you know knowing who you are and these these things can happen in many many ways and this person be grateful for to them no matter what's happened be grateful to them for helping you to realize to grow and to realize who you are it's happening it will keep happening you are going through a transitional period a period of huge growth so don't worry don't stress just allow life to unfold be like the Kuru as you can see there is one there be like the Kuru slowly unfolding unwinding growing, creating new creation to become a much bigger, larger version of yourself with huge growth. We've reached a time, you know, where it's, it's good to surrender. Don't push. Try not to be stubborn surrender to things, take action steps when you need to be and just go with the flow. As I always say, go with the flow. Don't push too much at something. It's not necessarily meaning that it's not going to work right now. It just might not be the right time at the moment and that you can try it again later on. We are in times of great change. So I'm going to say bye for now. It's just a short little video, a little chat from here in Ongatiti or just outside of Caddy Caddy on our property and sitting here in nature. I hope you can feel how wonderful it is here and I don't mind the wind. I know people, there's a lot of people that don't like the wind. I actually like the wind. I think it clears out the old cobwebs. It's another way of helping to clear out that old stuff. Clear your head. And then when you're sitting as well, because I'm sitting right underneath this tree, you're sitting on the earth and your base chakra is absolutely grounding in with the earth so your energy is fully connected. It's a beautiful way to revive yourself. Wind and the earth and nature. Awesome. and with beautiful pets around you as well so I actually better go and see what what's happened to Hank because oh there he is I can see he's good with me so that's good have an awesome day lovelies enjoy life this is what it's all about much love bye for now